Hi and welcome to the fourth tutorial in this series which will show you how to create an Angry Birds style game in Scratch. Now we've created the graphics, we've got our bird on screen and able to be controlled by the player and we've got our pigs so we should be ready now to find out how to launch the pig from the from the catapult. So obviously what we're going to do, we're going to do that with the space bar and that means we're going to add another set of instructions and put them in our forever loop here. So at the moment we're checking for a right key press and a left key press and in our game we're going to work it so that the spacebar launches the bird. So what I'm going to do is I need first of all to put an if block in there. So I'm going to go if and then this goes underneath here. So Oops, no, it doesn't. It goes underneath there. So it will do a check for right arrow, ch check for left arrow, and, and if neither of those are pressed, it will check for space. And that's what we need to put in here. So sensing if space key pressed, and then we need to launch the bird. So we will want our bird to fly, and we're going to want him to continue to fly until one of two things happens either until he hits the edge of the screen in which case it's the end of your turn or he hits one of the birds now one of the pigs we're going to worry about what happens when it hits the, one of the pigs later and just concentrate on stopping it when it hits the edge so what I'm going to do is first of all we need to put an, a repeat in here and we're going to put repeat until. So what this is going to do is it will repeat, it will continue to fly until the bird hits the edge of the screen because otherwise it will go on forever and it won't work. So I go back to the sensing block and I want to go touching here, put a touching and edge. So what this will do then if the space key is pressed, it goes into a loop here that will repeat until the bird runs out of space to fly in. So what I need to do is I want to move the bird. So I'm going to go motion. Ten steps, you can change this value, see what you think of it. And let's run that and see what that does. Now, that works, as you can see, but for start, the, the bird flies in a straight line, which isn't really very realistic, and also it just stops when it hits the edge of the screen. So we need to change our program slightly to fix both of those things. What we're going to do is we're going to add a clever little command here, which will make the bird rota turn in the air as it would in real life. So I'm going to use turn. And this is a little bit tricky, this next command. I'm going to use turn, and then I'm going to use a mathematical operator. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, where I put turn, turn. I'm going to use sin, and this will allow, allow the computer basically to, to work out like a curve, an accurate sort of curved flying route the bird and then I need to put in direction so basically what that will do is it will make the bird kind of fly in a realistic curve in the direction that it's facing so let's actually run that and see what, how that's changed our game so and you can see straight away that that is a little bit more real but we've We've still got the problem that the bird doesn't do anything when it reaches the edge. So what we need to do is find out what happens after the until loop here. So until it touches the edge, what happens after that? Well, two things need to happen. First of all, we need to re reduce the bird variable by one because they've had one of their turns. So that will go there. So we change birds left and we want to change it by minus one. 
so one is taken off and then we want to the, to return the starting position of the bird to what we had here so I'm going to go back to those controls so again we're going to want to point in direction 90 we're going to set X to minus 201 and we're going to set Y to 0 and let's see what happens this time there you go that worked perfectly did you see that the bird flew through the air at the end reduced one of my birds left so I've only got two left now and the next bird is ready to fly so we can now in our next video we can start to look at what happens when the bird actually hits one of the picks so see if you can add the code that we've done there watch the video back if you need to and then the next video will show you what happens when we hit the pig.